Hey everyone, this is Abhinendra from CG Artist Academy and I am back with a new tutorial in the series of procedural shading in Maya. So today what we are going what we are going to create is this. I have created this effect with the procedural shaders. So this is a cool effect, it's an abstract kind of effect which we're gonna create today with completely in Maya itself. So let's get started. Cool. So here is my basic scene. Okay. Uh, I have a backdrop. I have a podium. I have a head on which I'm gonna apply that shader, the procedural shader which we're gonna create today. And I have a camera as I always create camera with the locator okay which is parented locator is parented to the camera and sorry and it, there is an SDRI and there is a right light the basic lighting setup studio kind of setup I have created okay so in this tutorial we are we will be using redshift renderer okay so let's start this i have already applied a basic shaders to everything okay first of all uh backdrop which is this let me do some color around double click on this color so we'll get this wheel and yeah somehow like this and 1.2 okay next thing is podium uh, for this we'll be creating a cramp shader tab to apply shader in uh, your hyper shade so let's type ramp and texture yes and control s to save and here it would be around this bluish tint sorry yeah and here in this hand would be around red okay so drag and drop to the color and it's already applied so it's kind of looking cool already okay but i need the blue on the top side and the red on the bottom so i will be switching it yeah something like this interpolation should be smooth and in between i need a yeah this is looking pretty. yeah i'm good with this so basic shader is applied to this and what I need to do is in this fractional type instead of IOR I will be using metallic so metal metalness should be around 0.2 ok and yeah this is done let's see how the render comes what is the basic setup render so it's rendered ok uh, yeah it's kind of cool it's already looking cool okay so next uh, let's create the character shader so jump into the first app here is my character shader don't forget to save your file by con pressing ctrl s okay uh, okay again we need is ramp 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 texture mm, okay Let's do create one two. Yeah, something like this. Okay, and let's put some colors in this. So let's start with this. Uh, maybe pink 
this one will be this this will be red this will be again pink I think I guess blue again so it's completely up to you uh, what are the colors what are the colors you need to apply on your shader so just make it yeah whatever the color suits you again like blue and again pink I guess yeah cool and interpolation let's change interpolation later okay so it's my ram shader is completed now drag and drop to the color of the main shader drag it here okay cool it's already applied so let's render this again let's click here to save the snapshot and hit render again let's see what comes this time oh so it's already looking cool yep let's do some changes here and in the very beginning we need to change the interpolation to none yeah exactly let's see how it comes hit the render so it's render and it's looking pretty awesome I guess we are almost there so let's do the final changes and we'll be there the exact effect which I have showed you so let's save this and go to your ramp and there is an option over here it's called noise yes oh. this is looking pretty awesome yeah okay so let's put it around to 0.4 i guess 0.4 yes and noise frequency would be around uh, 0.250 for now okay so let's see the render again render so we are almost there yes let's change few more settings and we'll be towards the final result so go to your placement place 2d textures this one and in the in the rotate uh, UV okay maybe around 75 or whatever the frame you feel like looking good for your thing I'll be satisfied with here okay so yeah I'll be satisfied here and in my ramp uh, around point 150 maybe yeah 150 because I'm gonna anim animate this so I need a smaller value to this okay uh, okay let's render again and we'll do the animation next okay so render so yes we are there we are there to the point when we need to start the animation of the texture okay so let's do one thing go to your first frame and in the noise select right click set a key again in the noise frequency click and go to the last frame maybe around two here set keyframe and point one nine zero yeah which whatever suits you better guys and let's see how it coming definitely it's looking nice one more thing we need to do is go to your to the texture texture placement and create keyframe here also 
in the first frame right click set key go to the last frame maybe around 150 set key and let's see how it coming yeah definitely okay <clears throat> so again on the first frame rotate frame right uh, right click keyframe last frame down 30 and let's see how it comes definitely it's coming good now go to windows animation editor and graph editor select all the keys and put it to the linear okay so let's play it definitely it's looking the way in my video so it's almost almost done here so it's finished already you can see that animation is almost done over here and it's coming out like this only okay so now for the final render what you need is you need render settings what I did is created in redshift so output I used around minimum sample 32 and maximum 200 it completely depend on you your system guys okay and here in GI I used brute force okay so this is it almost almost we are there okay one more thing in the podium I did something else also okay let's do that uh, go to your second your podium one select your shader obviously switch on your transmission way to one okay and go to your subsurface and drag this ram to its transmittance color okay that's it and now render again so the final touch is done and you can see now there is a transmittance value that means we can say refraction so it's refracted podium now so this is the final result and you can render it and apply a few things in comps also that, that's what I did okay so this is the final result I hope you find this tutorial helpful guys and you enjoyed the tricks which I have used and I really hope you will apply those tricks to your uh, projects and it will be help in your further projects thank you so much for watching this tutorial subscribe and like this tutorial and if you really like this definitely please share with your friends and i hope you are doing all great in this covid 19 situation god bless you guys take care we'll see you next time